and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing this look. Um, so basically this is a no makeup makeup look and there are a few products that I throw in that you may or may not really want to do for a no makeup look and it, do it the way that is best for you. This is just the way I like to do it. So um, it's very, very quick. It literally takes me five at max, like 10 minutes because of putting on mascara, but that's about it. And I found a little tool that really helps me speed up the mascara process. So um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, add me on social media down below to follow more makeup stuff and whatnot. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so to start, um, I'm going to do some lip balm. This is the Morphe 2 lip balm. Okay. So yeah, we're going with very minimal makeup, like a no makeup look, but of course we are going to be using some makeup. So I always say, because I'm talking, that this may take a little bit, you know, longer, but it shouldn't take you long at all so um kind of look like a hot mess right now you know don't mind that so clean face we're gonna put on sunscreen i'm not using foundation barely using concealer to be honest we're using a treatment concealer that also helps with those dark circles in the long run sunscreen and by the way this is the monet sunscreen it is super important and i think that a lot of the time um, and I used to do this actually like until recently I just thought if it's raining out why the heck am I gonna put sunscreen on like what's the need it's so important like even if it's raining out doesn't matter <sighs> the sun rays do not change so it's super 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 important and then um, if I'm using BB cream I usually like it with uh, SPF in it so that I can skip the step but since we're not using anything else with SPF, it's really important. Next up, we have the corrector. So this is the True Match Corrector um, from L'Oreal Paris. It's in the color Fair. Um, this has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's actually supposed to help with dark circles in the long run. I actually read something about customers noticing a difference in their dark circles after a week, so I've been using this to be as like a treatment as well. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to dot this under my eyes, and you. And then I'm kind of like, you know, you can go in with primer. I just didn't today. I want something like really, actually, I probably should have gone in with primer to protect my skin. So, oh crap, whatever. Not the end of the world, but primer actually would have been a good solution here. Whether that's a poor primer or um, a glowy primer, just something to make us look more even and awake. But I already started, so whatever. So now I'm gonna take my Elf Beauty Blender and blend that in. And I'm gonna be showing you another product that I've mentioned before that I'm gonna use on my lid. I'm not gonna be putting this concealer on there right now. So there's that. Kind of just take whatever is left and blend it. See, so we're just looking more awake and whatnot, so I just already feel more youthful and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the MAC Harmony. Um, this is actually a blush, but the olive tone is so perfect for contour. Again, we're trying to make it look like we don't have a lot of makeup on, but I just, you know, I don't have that chiseled jaw, so I just want to like fake it a little bit. So I have this brush from A Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna like really slightly contour going up. I've been seeing that going up looks a lot more natural and I'm just randomly going up here a little on my nose 
to make it look shorter. And that's it for the more serious contour. And then, of course, we want to look like we have some color and whatnot. So what we're going to do is use a bronzer. So I'm going to use, because this is one of my favorites, Park Avenue Princess. Bronzer is the one that I love so much. It's Park Avenue Princess, and it's more of the, again, olive toned um, bronzer. So I'm just going to take like a big brush because I'm not going to contour. I just want to look tan. So this is a really big brush. This is from e.l.f., their face brush. And I just want to look like I have, again, color. Nothing like wild or anything. And when I notice, because I didn't set, I just pat in anything that creases. Um, because in the beginning, the concealer does tend to crease, but you can just blend it in. So next, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Eye um, Putty Eye Primer. I've mentioned this before, and this is amazing just to counteract. I'm mostly doing this because of my veins. I just, like, cannot... These are so green and veiny, so. I'm actually gonna put some on this pimple right here because it kind of counteracts that color of the pimple, like the redness. All right, so I did that. So now you can see like the veins look not as much. And I'm actually gonna take the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance powder and I'm going to set the top. And this is the Sephora brush in number 57, their airbrush concealer brush. And I'm just going to set my lid because again, it does crease. Okay, perfect. It's free you know right now. I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit of this powder. Okay, but I do love that concealer. I am noticing more brightness with it overall. So after that, it's just a two second set, so no big deal, but look at how much more I just look more awake with just a few steps. So now we're going to go in with my favorite ever blush, and this is a cream blush. I just love this color, and I think it stays put so well. Since we're not using powders, it's a perfect time to use the liquid. So this is the Rare Beauty Bliss blush, and I just go up here. And I don't really mind being heavy-handed with this one because, again, I said in my last video, if you didn't watch, that um, even if you overdo it, this is so blendable that it's totally okay. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Brush Airbrush Smoothing Foundation Brush, and we're going to blend this out. And it just gives a lifted look. You just look more awake. And I just like did not mean to blend that on my eye. I'm just using this brush. Okay, there we go. Much better. And a little here. I just feel like it looks like tan and sunburn. I love that look so much. perfect and now what I'm going to do is so I'm sorry if you're like thinking to yourself girl we don't have time to contour our nose if this is quick but um I'm gonna do a really quick contour with the NYX stick in deep and I just I feel like this really just puts everything together I feel like this is a necessity for me I feel kind of incomplete when my nose is in contour like if I remember then I'm gonna do it. So 
I'm just going to blend this out. I have like a favorite brush for this. Brush. Um, from Veeam. And this is from my Ipsy bag. Ipsy is the best. I love it. And I already have like a favorite highlighter brush, so I'm just gonna use this to blend this out. And it's doing a great job at that, actually. So yeah, this honestly takes like 10 seconds. So if you have time for it, then go for it. Now we're going to focus on the brows and then literally we just have a very very slight highlight if you want to use it mascara and we're done Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color chocolate and just quickly just kind of fill in any sparse areas and I really love when the front looks a bit thicker kind of set this way so. being nice and fluffy I love thick brows and now what we're going to do is I'm gonna do a very slight highlight since we're trying to do a no makeup makeup look feel free to leave the contour out Feel free to leave the highlighter out. This is just my way of doing it. And I know, obviously, you're going to see I have some makeup on, obviously. But it's more just like you can still see my zits. Like, I'm not going heavy-handed. I'm not using foundation. I'm not even using, like, crazy coverage concealer. Like, this concealer is very minimum coverage that you could build up. But it's just very this natural. This is so. the color Mesmerize from Rare Beauty. I also heard this is Selena Gomez's favorite color um, highlighter. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to put it right here on my cheeks. And then right here and here and here. So I actually have this buffing concealer brush from Ulta Beauty. And I'm just going to use this to blend. Like in a little bit up here. Like I said, it's a very natural highlight I can barely really notice it I just think it adds some a little bit of glow and a little bit here and then a little bit here just blending it out okay yes. going to uh, spray with the setting spray and this is the morphe continuous setting spray and now we're just gonna do lashes really quick and that'll be really it in like a lip balm or something so um, what I've been using is of course like a uh, eyelash curler and this is from Sephora I usually do this for like 10 seconds and then the other one I've only been using the serum for like a week maybe and they're already like longer so Serum is so important, I'm telling you. Even when if you have extensions or lifts, like use serum, it makes the whole world of a difference. So I found this really awesome gadget. I discovered it on Amazon. I am definitely someone who 
is a hit or miss with getting their mascara on their eyelashes and if I'm running around and rushing to go out or something I don't have time to clean it up and all this stuff so this is literally so. on Amazon it was like five bucks for two of these and you basically put it on your eye and you can put mascara on like you can put the eyelashes sticking to it so when you put mascara on it just basically curls it for you or you can just use it as something that doesn't get it on you. even if you put it up like this it won't get on your eyelid it's really amazing so i'm gonna go in with the thrive Ex um, liquid extension mascara the stuff is really great and i'm going to use this tool right here and kind of show you guys so i'm just gonna stick it on there so you can see See how it's kind of like on there or you can go up and just do it yourself like if you're more confident the way you do your mascara I just think this really helps like the timing it's so much quicker you don't even want to blend look at that it like curled it for me this has been a legitimate game changer for me And I'm just gonna let that quickly dry because when I do mascara back to back, it clumps up. So I just need to give it a minute. That, I'm going to quickly line my lips. Um, I usually use like Whirl, but we'll go in today with this is actually a more affordable option. This is Milani, and this is the color for All Natural. And I'm just Mom from Morphe is amazing. So my lips are so nice and soft. And I'm just gonna line them quickly. If you know me, you know that like I always have a lip balm, a lip tint, something on my lips. It's just like literally something that I, I need. I just feel like if I have no makeup on and a little bit of tint in my lips, it changes the whole game. I just, I love it. And I love how moisturized my lips feel. And then I'm going to go in with my all-time favorite lipstick tint ever. This is the Wet n Wild Handle with Care one. And I have mentioned this so many times because I am obsessed with it. It's just so moisturizing. I love it so much. And now we're going to go on with um, more volumizing mascara. This is Marc Jacobs. You can really do any one. I just have this on me and I need some volume. And again, I'm going to take this guy and do that. thing I'm gonna do is just take something to separate my lashes so I'm gonna go in with the telescopic and this is amazing I'm sure everyone's heard of it by L'Oreal Paris this is just going to separate them so they don't look clumpy um and I just need to wait a second this is gonna get dirty but obviously just with a makeup wipe soap and water just clean it and that's really it I actually have a box um a disinfecting box and it has, you get it on Amazon, it disinfects your phones and stuff, but I put all of my skincare tools in there, like my face roller. I used to keep them in the fridge, but I was like, honestly, even if I clean these, how clean are they really? So. Honestly, I don't really put bottom mascara on ever. Look at that. My lid doesn't have mascara on it. They look long. And I just, this is like a game freaking changer. I love it so much. Everything. So, see, it wasn't like a crazy amount of product. Um, I'm trying not to look up because it's not dry yet. And my necklace is always on backwards. Okay, so here we are. 
it's just like a no makeup makeup look like your skin but better super natural obviously you're gonna lose your still makeup on but whatever so it's just it's really quick again if i'm not speaking and you're just grabbing it all using it's the quickest makeup ever so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed i'm just gonna change maybe fix this crazy hair of mine and i will be right back okay so i'm back i'm just quickly i just put some um you know some cuter clothes on and i'm just gonna use this clairol in i think this is like light brown and i'm just going to cover my grays this is random but if anyone gets them often and like can't dye them and they have something to do that day you can get this at cvs it's amazing i've tried everything and this is by far my favorite i know the brand wow makes one too and i think they do have like pretty cleaner ingredients so i'm curious to try that but this one's great um because there's just no way i'm dying my roots today i do get grays i started getting them when i was 21 and i'm just like kind of embracing it but it's mostly like the fact that like it's a pain in the butt because like as i'm getting older these are coming in quicker and i don't know why so it's like i constantly have to dye my roots don't have the patience to do that so often so this is perfect and you can't even see any grease so this is the completed look um and i really hope you enjoyed my skin honestly looks flawless with this routine and it's just so simple and not heavy and my skin like it it's breathable it doesn't feel heavy and like i can't wait to wash my makeup off type of feeling so i hope you enjoy and feel free to throw in any requests you might have or whatnot and i'm so happy to you know come up with more content for it so please subscribe please like if you enjoyed or comment and um, feel free to add me on like instagram and tiktok as well i will leave my social handles down below thanks for watching and i'll see you next time